Hi Stephen, sorry, just very quick one. Has everyone come through the, the 10 days, the travel, everything, everyone's okay, any late legals or strain or anything like that? Yeah, well, I mean, that was one of our main objectives, um, certainly coming into into the week, you know, the, the training camp that we had prior to here. It's always a concern when you, with the gap, the, obviously six week gap, and then some players that hadn't been playing, the temptation is to overdo it sometimes or do too much or get the balance right. So one of our clear objectives was to get everyone fit here tonight. Cause, and that's, so it's credit to all of the backroom team really that that is the case. And uh, we've everyone available, which we're pleased about. Η αλήθεια είναι ότι έχει περάσει αρκετό καιρό, 10 μέρε για κάποιου παίκτε που δεν είναι στην αγωνιστική δράση. Υπήρχαν κάποια προβλήματα, πιστεύω ότι αυτό ήταν αμπόδιο για εσά. Ναι, αυτό ήταν άλλωστε και ένα από του στόχου μα. Και να εξηγηθώ, εμεί έχουμε έρθει εδώ, είχαμε ένα διάστημα για να προπονηθούμε. Υπήρχε πράγματι αυτό το κενό για το χρονικό κενό για του παίκτε. Και το σημαντικό για εμά, όπω άλλωστε και ο στόχο, ήταν να βρούμε μια ισορροπία και να του κάνουμε όλου να ταιριάξουν στην ομάδα. Next question, please, Hansel. Uh, Gavin Kenyon on here, please, thank you. Yeah, hi, Stephen. Uh, Gus Boyer was in just before you, and he said, in the context of a very difficult group, that this game was most fun for both sides. Would you agree? Well, uh, listen, from our point of view, you know, we're looking forward to the game. I think it's a, it's a, it's great that it's, you know, it's the first competitive game to stadium. It's full house. Um, that's you want to be involved in games like that. I think we're looking for that, you know, historic away win. That's what we want. It's our objective to try and get that big away win. Um, Greece are have a very good home record. They've been in good form over the last year, and we respect that. Nothing will be easy. We'll have to fight for everything, and um, it's only the second game in the group, so I don't, I don't think anything is decided so early. But we're, we're certainly. Uh, you know, we're certainly it's certainly going to be a, an important game for both teams. What's up, stop, stop, stop. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ο coach Ελλάδος είπε ότι είναι ένα παιχνίδι το οποίο θα πρέπει να κερδίσουν και οι δύο ομάδες. Ποια είναι η άποψή σας. Εγώ πρέπει να πω ότι αδειμονώ για αυτό το παιχνίδι θα γίνει σε ένα πολύ γεμάτο γήπεδο και όλοι οι παίκτες και η ομάδα ανυπομονεί να παίζει σε δύο γήπεδο. Τώρα, ο στόχο μα είναι να πάρουμε τη νίκη εκτό έδρα που θα είναι ένα πολύ σημαντικό αποτέλεσμα για εμά. Ξέρουμε ότι η Ελλάδα έχει ένα ρεκόρ στην έδρα τη, είναι σε φόρμα, δεν θα είναι εύκολο το παιχνίδι και πρέπει να πολεμήσουμε για τα πάντα. Είναι όμω μόλι το δεύτερο παιχνίδι στον όμιλο, είναι πολύ νωρί για να πούμε ότι είναι ένα must-win παιχνίδι, αλλά είναι πάρα πολύ σημαντικό. Well, I think um, I think you can see the team getting better. We've seen that that was evident in our previous game against France, and um, it was a strong performance in that game. So it's a different a different game, of course. And tomorrow, you know, it, it requires you know a different uh, different approach, and um, we're making sure that we're ready for tomorrow night. Ε, μια ενδεχόμενη νίκη θα δώσει αυτοπεποίθηση στην ομάδα. Κοιτάξτε, εγώ πιστεύω ότι η ομάδα βελτιώνεται το παιχνίδι με το παιχνίδι και αυτό το είδαμε στο παιχνίδι με τη Γαλλία, όπου είχαμε μια πολύ καλή απόδοση στο γήπεδο. Αύριο είναι ένα τελείω διαφορετικό παιχνίδι. Ξέρουμε ότι στο αυριανό παιχνίδι πρέπει να έχουμε μια άλλη προσέγγιση και φυσικά να είμαστε έτοιμοι να μπορούμε να παίξουμε. Strong away performances. Is there any common team as to why you haven't actually been able to see the deal? Um, <coughs> you know, the past is the past. Like you can't, you can't look back. Of course, we've analysed all those performances, and um, the the most obvious one, obviously, that will always sort of deliver us is is that we the the game in in Portugal, of course, which we lost late, but. Uh, you know, as I said, we've learned a lot. We've learned so much about the team over the last year, and um, you know, you can see the team have improving. And this is a, another. This is a stern test. Greece are, you know, a really good team. They're at home. Uh, it'll be a, you know, a, it'll be a brilliant atmosphere, I'm sure, and one that we want the players to rise to and put in a big performance.
John, it's obviously quite a while since you played a competitive game. How have you found the last four or five weeks in the couple of different training camps and you know, making sure that you're sharp enough? Do you feel like you felt at the end of the regular season? Yeah, listen, um, a lot of preparation has gone into obviously preparing for this game. Um, we had a really good training camp, which was very important to get everyone back together after the, the season, um, you know, and just hone in on what we do here as a group. Um, you know, the manager and the, the staff have been brilliant and, you know, we've we've had a really good um, training training camp in Turkey and, you know, we're raring to go and looking forward to the game tomorrow night now. Damien Spalman at the back, please. Stephen, Evan Ferguson, Evan Ferguson's had such a great season. Could have a very special end for him. Is that the challenge for him? The challenge for him for what? He could, he could have a really exciting end to his season. All right. Um, yeah, listen, Evans really emerged quicker than we could have anticipated, and he's done brilliant for Brighton in the Premier League. And, you know, it's, it's, it's certainly we're, we're delighted to have him. He's, you know, he's, he's, um, he's trained really well this week. And um, he's such a young player that, you know, you can't, you, you know, you certainly wouldn't want to put too much on his shoulders because we've got, got, you know, five good forwards in the, you know, in the squad. Um, but he has got terrific ability and we'd love to see that emerge over the, over the next week for sure. Thank you, John. Uh, have you cut my job very much? Um, I suppose since the draw was made, yeah, we've obviously talked about it a bit, but um, yeah, he's a close friend of mine. Uh, he's been a big addition to the Greece setup, and you know, um, I suppose not much more I can say than you know we're we're close friends, and obviously we're playing against each other tomorrow night, so um, you know we'll put that to one side for ninety minutes. Eddie Lee, please. Stephen, how you doing? You touched on it earlier about the build up to the game. Um, is there a sense that it's just been too long to build up to a, a game like this? Um, is, it, is it something that needs to be looked at through the club and you know and UEFA scenarios? And is it has it been difficult to manage things like just potentially play wrong with that sort of stuff? <coughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's going to. Ch- I think it's it's not a European problem because you know obviously Matt Doherty was involved with Atletico Madrid in the squad. We 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 trained on the Monday. He you know he was playing on the he was in the squad on the Sunday for Atletico Madrid and some of the obviously the, the Greek team play in Turkey. Then he finished last week as well. So it's not it's not it's not a European issue. As mainly the English Championship finishes early for the playoffs and that's and League One and that's and that's um, really the only issue. And ideally we want more of our players in the Premier League and we've got. Like John getting promoted and and the, the and Josh and Michael at Burnley going into the Premier League then so that doesn't become a problem if you have more players in the Premier League it doesn't become an issue so it's it's uh, it's really just an issue because the English Championship finishes finishes so early to accommodate the playoffs. And just from what you've seen in Turkey over the last nine days, are you confident that everything you want from the team can be put into practice in these conditions, or are there certain things that you just have to? leave out of your plan in terms of just intensity and levels that players can achieve in such, in such uh, difficult conditions? Yeah, no, <laughs> listen, um, we've made uh, provisions for different scenarios, for sure. I think uh, we're clear how we want to play in and out possession. And I think the players, you know, are very clear in that regard and they've trained brilliantly um, obviously it's different against uh, you know Greece have also been in good form and they've been in good home form so you've got to really you know it's a, it's a game that's exciting really I, I think it's an exciting game for both teams and uh, you know we just want to come out the right side of it Is there any further questions in the lives?